Okay, as I speak, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and it's freaking hot outside. It's, it's probably 90. Um, I'm, <laughs> oh, this is bad. Um, I'm fixing the last place I'm gonna fix uh, the wood rot and I wanna show you why I got there. And I'm going to put it in the terms of my work because I work in emergency management. So let's talk about mitigation keep the weeds along the bottom of your house trimmed. Don't let them grow up into the siding. That's why it got this way. I'll show you. These are all vines. They're dead now because I've got everything cut down, but these are all vines that have just grown up. Look, Look at that, into the siding. Oh my God. You know, if I was doing this the way I should, I'd take out this whole slap, but I'm not going to. Look at that. Oh, I cannot believe how much is back there, but look at it all grown in the insulation. So let me be a lesson to you. Don't let these vines grow alongside your house. The next thing is preparedness. Be prepared for this to happen. I knew that it was going to, um, I just didn't know how to do it. So I had to um, educate myself, just like being prepared, you gotta educate yourself. So what I've done is there's nothing growing in this area anymore. Um, it's all wood chip. I worked really hard on it. I keep the weed killer the Noxal granules along the side because even though there's Vesqueen down, it'll creep up the sides. And I come out here all the time and, and pluck them. Um, I haven't had to so much this last winter because I kept the Noxal granules in there and it, it kept them down. But you want to keep it clean. So prepare so it's not as bad if it happens again. Next on the list is response. I'm responding to it right now. I have wood filler. So I'm gonna fill this with the wood filler because I mean, there's a gap there. And I'm still in response mode here, but it was so freaking hot earlier this, it just dried as soon as I put it on there. It, it was already dry and crumbly. Uh, just did my nails too. So I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna, it's cooling, cooling off now, but it's, it's getting later and I have to mentally prepare myself to work tomorrow. I get to work from home, but I still have to work, so. Um, I'm going to continue this at another time. Here's my other one. So my response is done on that one and now it's recovery. I'm going to recover this and paint it gray. Okay, there's full recovery. It's done. But if you look, I mean, you see, you could see where I put it in up there. I caulked it as much as I could, but it just never will go back to 100%. So keep that in mind when you're doing your recovery. I got the wood filler in this one. It's not too hot, it's not drying. Out. So I'm letting that dry and then we'll move on. This one, I'm getting way back. This, well, this one's horrible. I thought I would use the wood putty and um, it just, it didn't come out as well, but it's the back of my house. I'm not worried about it. I just need to paint it gray and it's recovered. So I look like this because I was putting some mulch down over here. Um, I'll show you. I had a bag and so I started pulling mulch down here and I went, God, this looks so good. I, 
I didn't realize, doing research, didn't realize you're supposed to put it down every single year, but now I know why, because it breaks down into dirt. So I did it all the way around. The tree, all the way around. I could pick up apples all day and they would still be out here. I don't know why my grass is not turning green. I water it constantly. But, flies are flying on me. But I did put all new mulch all the way around. Um, I'm gonna work on this one. Not tonight though. Someone's got a barbecue going. Um, but I think next weekend is Labor Day weekend, and I plan on laboring. Get out of my face, so I'm gonna repaint my fence because it's it's two different colors and it looks horrible. You got it. It's horrible, and there's the two different colors. I want to get on that side of the fence and cut all those down. I don't like them up against my fence. I'm waiting to see someone come over there. They do, but it's never when I'm around. Um, so I can tell them. Larry and I had a deal that I could... Look, my, oh my God. I didn't even realize my face was so filthy. I was wearing gloves. That's with gloves. I better, I better end this video right now. That's kind of embarrassing.